you probably won't find a better tight end group. Talk about your DBs. Summer camp in the country. Yeah, so, so uh, ago, all three of those you obviously had the corner. Together. You know, and Joe Johnson really is a long corner. But with Theo, um, you know, athletic, wire, tremendous talent. Right way. We're really he excited about him and his potential. Jair had a really good season this year. He came to camp. He earned the scholarship the hard way. You know, we're really excited about him coming in as a guy that's two years already removed from high school. So hopefully he can have the same impact that Brisker had on us this year. Uh, and then Enzo, you know, brings a, a lot of great length as well. So, you know, we're, we're trying to get our secondary to look a certain way and, and have athleticism a certain way as well. The ball skills that James talked about, how important is that for your DBs? It's critical. You know, we're doing a really, really good job of covering. Now it comes down to the 50-50 balls. And, you know, it's the difference between a pass breakup and the offense has another snap or an interception. Now our offense has the ball. So, you know, we're just trying to get those game changers that can get us off the field and get the offense to football. Over the last couple of years, you guys have done a good job addressing the depth on the D-line. How important is it to bring in a bunch of those guys every year, almost like the O-line, I would say? Yeah, I think it's, what, six guys in there. Um, you know, we got a lot of D-ends and D-tackles. Um, you know, we just feel like, you know, offensive line and defensive line, you can't turn those guys away. You know, you just keep recruiting because that's the foundation. And up front with Coach Spence and the Wild Dogs, you know, they they set the tone for our defense, and you know, we've had a really good defense the last six years, and it all starts up front, so we feel like we brought some quality guys in in the interior um, that are stout, and a couple guys that, you know, obviously we're going to gain some weight inside, and then we were big and long on the outside, the DN position, so hopefully those guys will continue to be athletic as we brought the other guys in in the past. Zarai, you, you, you helped us through about Pittsburgh. Obviously, you know, every, all the talk right now is linebacker. Do you want him to lose weight, stay the same? I mean, obviously, if he puts on weight, that, that'd be kind of pushing that uh, position. Yeah, there's, there's, he, he's coming in as a linebacker, mm -hmm. and there's, there's no point of emphasis with his weight. You know, we want him to be comfortable and be natural. Uh, I think he last weighed in about 240 when he came up. Okay. Um, so, you know, he's a big athletic kid that we love. He's playing basketball right now. He's the, the, the top player on his team. Yeah, no, I, um, I remember it vividly, We're excited. You know, we feel like he's the, one of the next guys that's going to be in line for LBU. You know, he brings a physicality and a throwback mentality that we need on our defense. You know, we, we need a thumper, and, and that's what he brings. Where did he play? What position did he play in high school? He played a little bit out of backer and DN. They kind of moved him around and played a little bit of tight end as well. And why do you go with the decision almost, it sounds like Micah a little bit, where you're not afraid to take a bigger guy and move him inside or back to linebacker? Yeah, you know, we, we just, the, the bigger the bodies, you know, they're more durable. Um, they hold up. And heck, we're in the Big Ten. You know, you look at these Big Ten offensive lines at Ohio State, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa. You know, these guys are really big, so, you know, we're just trying to get, gain length, size, along with the speed and athleticism. We don't want to compromise anything, but we just want to get bigger. What's the challenge when you have a guy like Curtis Jacobs who really hasn't played much linebacker? Well, it's kind of like Micah. You know, you it's a little bit different when you got a, a guy that has to, to learn the position. Um, but he's a great athlete. You know, he, he brings a lot of athleticism. He's super smart. Um, he's a kid that's willing to learn, and, you know, we're excited. You know, he's, I guess, one of the top-rated defensive guys on our board. So, um, you know, as his rating, we're even more excited for, for the possibilities that, you know, hopefully he can come in and follow right in Micah's steps, footsteps. You know, the older guys Brandon the Taylor was a guy who wasn't quite talked about as much as some others. Uh, just a just quieter personality. Can you talk a little bit about him, they, they know you know, on the field and off the field? Just yeah, Brandon is a great get for us. You know, he's going to play in the inside on the D-line. Um, you know, he's a tremendous athlete, plays tough, has a great motor, he gets after it. Uh, he's blue collar, mm -hmm. and it's much like our defense. You know, we're just, we, we roll our sleeves up and we play one play at a time and we try to leave all our efforts out there and that's what he represents and he's going to fit in well. Did you ever No, I did not. Okay. Do you, Kerry, when you are recruiting, how often do you reference your days as a student athlete here? You know, track record for your career. Only when it's necessary. Um, you know, history plays a big part though. You know, when you, when you look at some of the things that we're doing now and 
you know, we're winning more games than ever when you accumulate the years. Um, but, you know, we always flash back. And, you know, we just try to tie it in so these guys know where we came from, where we are currently, and where we need to go. You know, obviously we're striving to win the Big Ten and, and get into the playoffs and have a chance there. So, you know, we reference it at some, but we don't overdo it because these guys are here and now, now guys. So just depending on who we're talking to, a lot of times when it's the parents, you can reference it. But the guys now, they could care less about the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Terry, uh, from a few years ago, we could look ahead to the next class and you could always see one or two areas that you're going to have to address next year. Mm -hmm. Is it more balanced now? I mean, do you guys have more? you follow what I'm saying? More, more than ever. Yeah. I mean, we're on the back end. You know, we have a lot of good depth of safety, a lot of good depth of young guys at the corner position. Now LBU is, is deep. Uh, we, we've added a couple, three more guys into there. Uh, the D-line, I mean, there, there's just guys. So, and like I heard Coach say earlier in the press conference, less guys are leaving. Um, you know, our culture is right. You know, the guys love our locker room. They love what we're doing in the building. And we got an opportunity to do something special. So when you look ahead to 2021, is it more about let's just get the best guys we can get at each position rather than loading up at playing particular Yeah, it's, it's about getting the best guys. And, you know, obviously we, we got a clear January to see if there's any guys leaving early. Um, and, you know, after that, you know, you just see where your holes are. You fill your holes. But, yes, yeah, get the best guys here. <laughs> You know, we're, we're, we're building good depth. We're a solid two deep across the board. In some positions, we might be three deep. And, you know, the goal is to get a solid three deep across every position. So speaking of January, how you brought it up, uh, do you think you're close to adding someone else? Is it, do you need a couple guys to probably leave? I mean, can you, can you talk about that at all? Or is it just very tough to predict? Uh, right now, you know, we, we have the full class. And, you know, unless some guys leave early for the NFL, um, I don't anticipate any moves. But who knows in today's time if, yeah. if some blue chip guy uh, all of a sudden comes available you know we're not going to turn away a guy that can help us immediately so you know we'll cross that bridge as it comes um, but we'll just keep working hard to, to recruit you know, this gives us a, a, an advantage to move forward to the 21 class in january and get started on those guys full speed